what up everybody it's your boy this is my sneaker head in the house coming with a brand new video as always before we get started please hit that thumbs up comment subscribe share hit the notification on the front of my youtube channel so you know when all my videos drop we are at episode six of last seven kicks i'm gonna keep this joint going i appreciate all the support granted last week I was hoping to get 50 likes. 50 likes is nothing, but I didn't even get, I think I only got like 30, 35 likes. So this week for episode six, we can get 60 likes, not 600, not 6,000, just 60 likes. I would appreciate it. But with all that out the way now, let's get right into it. Sunday, your homeboy wore the LeBron 11 Maison du LeBron. Um, these are flames. Um, I've worn these a couple times in all upper 3M. And again, big shout out to the Cleveland Cavs for winning the national championship. The NBA chip that LeBron and Cleveland have been waiting for for 50 plus years is finally in Cleveland. Much respect to them. They're still getting a lot of hate, especially LeBron, even though they were down 3-1. I don't care what the circumstances were. If any other team were in those circumstances, nobody would care. I don't care if Draymond got ejected. I don't care. I don't think he should have been ejected, but that's what happens when you keep trying to nut shot people. You know, I don't care if Boga got hurt because last year Kyrie and uh, Kevin Love were both hurt and nobody gave LeBron any breaks. So big shout out. They earned it. LeBron is the MVP. I don't want to hear anything else about it. But with, anyway, back to the shoe. <laughs> but yeah, these joints are flames right here. I just love that blue. The LeBron 11 Elite, to me, look better than the LeBron 11. And the funny thing is when the LeBron 11s drop, people dog that shoe. But I'm telling you, almost every colorway sold out compared to the LeBron 12s and 13s, which are just sitting everywhere. But this is what your boy won on Championship Sunday. On Monday, I had to bring out a classic to one of my all-time favorite kicks. We have the Air Penny 2. I believe this is the home colorway. Now, um, the difference between this one and the original, of course, is has the uh, Penny logo in the pot as opposed to the Nike swoosh. I personally like the Nike swoosh better than the uh, than the Penny logo on the side, but on the bubble. But these are super dope. Quality is actually pretty good considering. And you can get these for well under retail. I still want to get the Soul Collector and the uh, All-Star Colorway. Both of those are at least 50 bucks on the retail now if you go on eBay. I saw the All-Stars for 99 bucks free shipping. So hop on to eBay if you're interested in getting a pair. But this is what your boy wore on Monday. Tuesday, had to show some love to my boy Kyrie because he did his thing and he showed Steph Curry how to be a point guard in this series. Unfortunately, and I love Steph Curry, but Kyrie really did his thing. So I wore the Kyrie 2 BHMs. This is my favorite colorway. Now, there's been other colorways I do want in my collection. The uh, Kairachis, um, even those uh, Uncle Drew IDs are dope. The Krispy Kreme ID, IDs were dope as well. But this shoe looks so good with just simple, clean colorways. The USA colorway, for example. The Kairachi colorway, but this one was flames. This is my favorite out of the entire BHM pack cap. But on Tuesday, I wore the Kyrie 2 BHMs. Wednesday, your man busted out the Way of Way 2.5s. The Encores is what they're called. My favorite Way of Way silhouette. This is the Storm Shadow colorway. This is supposed to uh, represent Storm Shadow from the G.I. Joe series, cartoon series. This one was hella dope. That translucent blue with the, I don't know if you can see it, but there is, uh, let me see if I can. There's literally this gold speckling in the outsole. Uh, super, super dope. Love this shoe. And uh, the quality, as everybody knows on the way away, one through threes are crazy. For the price point, the quality, the leather and materials are on point. This is what your boy wore on Wednesday. Thursday, sticking with the G.I. Joe theme. I busted out the Storm Shadow New Balance. I believe these are the 580s. Yep, the 580s. Uh, super, super sick. This was the Bay collab that they did with G.I. Joe. 
I have, I'll leave my bait collection up here. They had a Cobra Commander, Roadblock, Storm Shadow, and um, Snake Eyes. Uh, you got suede, you got mesh, you have leather, all premium leather uh, inner here. Super, super dope. This is what your boy wore on Thursday. Friday, foamy Fridays. Had to bust out some foams as usual. As you can see, I pretty much wear foams every week. I have a surprisingly dope colorway. The Crimson, the Bright Crimson Foam Posit Pros. I'm not a fan of pros at all. Hate this swoosh right here. But for some reason, this colorway is one of the best Foam Posit Pros um, that are out there. This, this Bright Crimson. It just pops and it works. Somehow it just works. But this is super dope. So this is what your boy wore on Foam Posit Friday. The Foam Posit Pro Bright Crimsons. Yeah, man. Lastly, on Saturday, your boy broke out another pair of New Balances. We have the Storm Shadow New Balance 580. So this was the pack that came with those uh, Snake Eyes um, 580s that I just showed you that I wore on Thursday. This one, woo, close call. This one here by far is the better of the two. Entire upper is suede, and I love the color. It, it looks like a gray suede, but it's more like a ivory or a light sand, like almost brownish suede. The bottom has a translucent bottom, and it has a uh, black, like little black crackling marks in it. Has the red, the blood splatter on the inner here. It's just sick. The 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 red uh, gradation and splatter all along the uh, the back of the outsole and on the out on, and on the midsole. These joints are just sick. I mean, the quality on this and this shoe is not two hundred dollars, not two hundred fifty dollars. These shoes are I think it was like one fifty a piece for this type of quality. This is why runners are becoming my favorite shoes to collect now, just because. You could rock them, the quality is good, and you want to rock them. Sometimes people get that Jordan Freeze where like, oh, I just got these rare pair of J's or Nikes, and I don't want to rock them because I don't want to get them creased or messed up or dirty. I wear all my kicks, but rare runners is just the thing for me, and the comfort's crazy. But yeah, folks, that is it. I know this one was a little bit longer because I was shouting out the calves, but uh, thanks for tuning in. Again, like, comment, subscribe, share. Let's get to 60 likes. And with that being said, it's your boy, this is my sneakerhead, and a brother is out.